gas before you got to the gas station. But he messed up when you entered the gas station and handed him that debit card and put 20 on pump two. Oh, he messed up then. He messed up when he didn't allow the accident to miss you and you got the church. He messed up when he allowed you to enter the parking lot. I tried to stop him with this, I tried to stop him with that, I tried to let a phone ring off at the last minute with, 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 with a bad case, but yet still, some way, somehow, he pressed and got his foot. When that foot got into the church, things changed. When his foot got into the church, he got empowered. Yeah. Oh, you can't experience right. transformation until you begin to just give yourself away. As the song will say, I give myself away so you can use me, Lord. I give myself away so you can use my mind. I give myself away so you can use me to be a witness, not just a gossiping harlot, but a witness to be able to tell somebody about the goodness of God and what he has done for me in my life. All right. Oh, yeah. Help me, Help me, Holy Ghost. The Bible says, and I'm closing on this footnote, the Bible says that we are the salt of the earth. And if the salt loses Satan, it's good for nothing. That's right. And I come to tell you that we are, as we are the salt, what is salt good for? Seasoning, bringing flavor. So you ought to be able to go into a non-flavored situation and bring season to that situation. Yeah. Well, now your flavor has filtered off on them, and now they can now they can be salted and seasoned as a Christian believer. And until you realize that until transformation comes, until you allow transformation to reside. Yeah. Your life won't change. If you reject Christ, your life won't change. If you don't dedicate yourself and commit yourself to God and submit yourself to God, your life won't change. Okay, you can go to college and you'll still your life won't change. You can get the degree and still your life won't change. Why? Because there's a missing portion in your life. Yeah. If the car needs gas, you need to be refueled by the Spirit. That's why we come to church. The Bible says, but they forsake not the assembly of ourselves like some do. So I'm going to make it my business to get here. Because I, I mean, if you know that you know that you know that you need to be poured in, if the body needs food, then you need spiritual food just like you need natural food. Yeah. Yeah. Help me hold it going. Yeah. And I'm closing on this. This song has been in my heart all week. I don't feel no I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the way would be easy, and I don't believe it brought me this far to be me. And the Lord nine years ago gave me this song in prayer and I never forgot it. Consecrate me Lord. Consecrate me Lord. Oh consecrate me to do I want to do thy will. 
This is a flow of ministry tonight. It ain't about no who's who and who you are and where you come from. Tonight is a night of surrenderance. Oh, come on, somebody open up your mouth and say, come. 